What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? DD Vapes here, and I'm going to be doing a, a, a video for you guys today. And it's just a basic, simple build on a small RDA called the Fishbone. Now, I did a review on this one a while back, and I don't think I actually showed um, on the review uh, how to do a proper build on the Fishbone because of the size of the Fishbone RDA. You have very little room for builds now the way i'm going to be doing this is i'm going to be uh, doing a small build but enough to get good vapor like a really good amount of vapor so basically what you want to do is you just want to grab the coil you're going to be using which i'm going to be using i think it's 38 gauge uh twisted wire so let's uh i'm gonna be doing adjust here a little bit i need my glasses so we're gonna use some twisted wire and we're gonna do a nice little build on here so I'm gonna grab my coil jig and for this one I think now usually I use my coil jig but I have the size I want for the screwdriver which is the 2.5 so instead of using the coil jig I'm gonna go ahead and use the screwdriver to make it and do my adjust adjustments and stuff so we're going to use some twisted wire. The twisted wire I'm using is, um, let's see, it is, yeah, it looks like it's 28 gauge twisted together. I'm not exactly sure. And once again, this belongs to my buddy Mike and I'm still using it. And I think he's going to be a little upset once I use it all up on him. But I will, I will have to get him some new wire, or uh, I'm gonna have to get you some new wire, Mike, because I'm getting bored sitting at home, and the wire is there, and I want to do some builds, so I'm gonna use it. So basically, what you want to do, honestly, one of the things you want to do is you want to clean your RDA, especially if you had coils in it before. Um, you're gonna have a flavor in here that's from your other RDA, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one off. And one thing I noticed is my deck is breaking and I was told I could take the deck out and you could buy new ones for it or you could take it out and you could leave it out. But the thing about this deck is the flavor that it gives you. You get awesome flavor from this deck. Now the reason why you get good flavor on this deck is because of the ceramic. The ceramic lets the flavor really um, come through without any kind of metal taste or anything like that. Stainless steel gives uh, taints to juice. It, it makes it taste different than it really does, I believe. Uh, that's why like a, uh, if you get a, a deck that's uh, 14 karat gold plated or something like that, a lot of times it's because it holds the flavor uh, and the, the gold really, really keeps the flavor from changing. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our coil we're gonna make sure that this this is gonna be a good coil that fits perfect. You're gonna want it to really fit in there. The way they make this, and I'll show you why. And I showed you guys before, but I'm gonna show you guys once again uh, this whole fishbone RDA. A lot of people don't like it, I believe I heard. I'm one of those people who love it. And the reason why is because of the way they made it. Um, it's a RDA that's all glass just about. Uh, a lot of the parts are glass and those glass parts, um, the way they made it, the way they made the airflow, all of it is just awesome. So that's one thing I really do like about this RDA. So we have this glass piece, this is their inner part. That's the inner part where, they're, where the air uh, tends to blow around and stuff <clears throat> um, This is basically just a really nice RDA, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start that coil All right, so let me uh, adjust this a little bit more right here, okay? Go ahead and grab my box here. There we go Just like that All right, so we got our RDA right here We're gonna go ahead and twist some wire we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do this for a 50 watt mod uh, which is I'm doing this for the Kangar tech 
So I'm gonna be doing a R. This is gonna be the RDA for the Kanger Tech, which it looks nice on there. It fits nice. So being that it's a 50 watt, um, you have to fire over two ohms. So we're gonna try to make it about a 2.5, or is it over? No, lower than three ohms. We'll figure it out in a second. So I'm gonna do about uh, six wraps, seven wraps, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We got seven wraps there. Now you gotta make sure you do this right because if you don't, these coils will not fit and you will have a problem with the coils. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna install this one coil here. You're gonna wanna trim your leads, not too small, but just enough where you can work with, but not enough so, you know, so you have it out of your way, but you still have enough lead to be able to work with here. Now you gotta make sure that your coils sit properly on here because once this cap goes on and I take it off because I like to test and see where my coils are gonna sit and how far down I'm gonna have to go. And a lot of ways you could just go ahead and take this. Sometimes you gotta screw in the leads a little bit just so uh, you could test it, make sure that coil you get kind of an idea of where it's gonna sit. It's not a big deal just to put the screws in a little bit, man. Just so you could check your lead, your leads, just go ahead and pop that up top like this. And you're gonna kind of get an idea of where that coil, you're gonna want that coil sitting. So basically I want it kind of low down to uh, near the bottom holes. That coil sitting right there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tighten this down now because I believe I have it where I want it. Um, this is not a good screwdriver actually to use on that. Luckily I got my other screwdriver. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab the screw set. And we're going to go ahead and figure this out here. What screwdriver do we need? I need this one. There we go. I love this screwdriver set. Very nice, very nice. Now I said I had seven wraps on this one, I believe. Go ahead and tighten. Oop, I don't wanna tighten that lead yet. I wanna actually go in a little bit more and I'll tighten it. So when I pull out on it, everything tightens up nice. There we go. Now we can pull on it, make sure everything's snugged right. And there we go. So we got one done, which ain't much. I mean, it, it sounded like I'd done a lot of work already. But yeah, just that one. We're going to go ahead and trim the leads. And there we go. We're going to spin this around. We're going to grab our other wire. I want to make sure I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we're going to do seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Let's spin it around, fix that other lead. I was gonna make eight and uh, just pull that one out. But, all right, so let's get this like this. Slide that one in. Uh, I hate when I forget to cut one of my leads smaller than the other. Because then I sit there and I'm struggling trying to fit them in. There we go, just like that. There we go. Loosen these up a little bit so I can push these leads in. go just like that we're gonna tighten that up now we're gonna tighten the other one up and I like what I like doing is I like kind of get my leads snugged against the uh, velocity deck there and then I just go ahead and pull back a little bit to tighten it more 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and these are really, really loose. Um, so what you want to do is you really do want to pull these leads and tighten it up. As loose as this is, it's it's uh it could get in the way and cause some damage in shorts. You don't want your leads being that short. All right, that goes there. Yeah, the leads are short, short, short. A little too short. I mean, too long, a little too long. So we're gonna kinda try to tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. That's a lot better. All right, we're gonna go ahead and trim these leads on the other side, just like that. There we go. We got coils built. Now it's a little blurry. I hate when it, you know, I don't know why it's blurry like that, but it used to come in good and now my camera seems to be blurry all the time now. There we go. Nice and snugged. Make sure this is even with that bottom, just like that. So basically I just kind of slide, oh wow, I broke another, uh, darn, I broke another one of the white things. The ceramic. See, the ceramic, here it goes, I found it. The ceramic piece just broke off again. Luckily, they're easy to glue on with some crazy glue. It's a little bit of crazy glue. Yeah, I gotta get some crazy glue and glue that on. I wish I could find the other piece that broke off so I could fix it and glue it on, but I lost it, it's gone. I'm gonna actually put this piece in my container so I don't lose it. I don't know where I put it, but hold on one second, guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my ohms. And I'm reading at 3.4. I'm gonna go ahead and fire these. Hopefully they'll fire with the battery I have in here. Nope, F1, low voltage protection. Low voltage protection, oh, the battery. Yeah, it's a junky battery, jeez. I need some batteries. I need good batteries though, some 40 amp batteries. Not no piece of junk ones, all right. 35, let's post these up now. There we go. Now these are post pretty evenly. I really don't want to like squish them together. I kind of want the space that they have. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of adjust, uh, heat it up and then the ends, I'll kind of bend them in place to make sure I kind of got this the way I want it. There we go. Just like that. All right, so that looks really good to me. It's all centered nice. Make sure this one's centered the proper way. There we go, beautiful. All right, so now if you look, you can see they're in together more. Um, they're in together also. There we go, that's a little better. Get some light on the subject here. But they're in a little bit better, squished it together and stuff like that. So they should fire really nice right now. Let's see. I've got it upside down, but there we go. Very nice. Right from the center to the outside. 
Very nice. And that's a 3.6 ohm uh, build. And for 50 watts, it should run it good too. Um, it is a little higher than I really wanted to. The build I actually wanted to be a 2.5 build. But a 3.5 is good enough. Basically, I would have to take them out and take a wrap out or two. And it would actually work right where I need it to. So right, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and wick it. I'm going to go ahead and take that layer out that everybody always takes out, which I don't understand why. It's cotton. It's just a little thicker than the other stuff, the way they make it. And it's just to hold the inner layer together. But whatever. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of fluff this stuff out. Just fluff it out. Just like that. There we go. We're going to twist one end up. We're going to feed it through the coil. There we go. Leave it just right there. I'm not even going to slide it anymore. I got it right where I need it. Actually, I do want to slide it a little more, actually. Because I'm going to leave it right here. Then I'm going to cut this end. And then I got another feeding end I could feed this through again. There we go. Very nice. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Trim it up nice. Trim it up nice. And there we go. Just like that. So this is how you're going to look before you tuck the wick in. You're just going to cut it into bow tie shapes like this. And then you're going to tuck them in. Um, basically, you're just going to grab something with a small little tip on it. I use these right here. And you're going to just kind of go ahead and pull your cotton over and push it under your oops, push it under your coil. Pull it, pull it in and then push it down in there. There we go. Just like that. So your cotton's in there underneath in that well. So it's pretty simple to do, you know, you just want to kind of tuck it in there in that, in that juice well because that's where your juice is going to sit and that's where it's going to collect the juice to draw up into the coil so you could vape it, all right? So let me just fix that up a little bit because I couldn't see what I was doing. So basically you just tuck your wick in there. And I'm going to show you what I did when I tucked it because you're going to kind of want to tuck it a certain way. And basically what I mean is you're going to want to leave the juice well open in between where, where your cotton is, where your coil and cotton is. Um, you're going to leave an opening there because the juice is literally going to fly through that and it's going to... Uh, cool off your coils as you're vaping it giving it a different experience of a vape so what we're gonna do is let's see if this works I want to try something ah, never mind all right so we're gonna go ahead take this off we're gonna put it on the Kanger tech the sub box minute and this kind of fits like on there perfectly all the way around. It's nice and even. I'm gonna take my battery back. Put my battery back in there. This was my first 18650 battery I ever bought. And I bought it with the Kanger, for the Kanger Tech. That's why it's red. So I have the red in the back just like that. This is a crappy, such a crappy paint job they did on this thing. None of this paint belongs to the Kanger Tech. Uh, all their paint is gone. This is all my paint. So we're going to go ahead and wick this. And I'm going to try a new juice that I made. Um, it, it's not really ready yet, but I just want to try it a little bit. I think this is it. see that's a fruit one I tell you, that's tastes good this is 
pumpkin spice, which is also good. I made some new ones, man. They taste pretty good. I'm going to try this new one here I got. I don't have no dripper to drip with it, so I'm going to use one of my uh, hospital ones. Put some juice in there, and we're going to go ahead and drip it in there. And this makes a good dripper. Um, really easy to use. Actually, like, I don't mind dripping with this because you could push out how much juice you want. And it's not the ones with the rubber in it. It's the all plastic piece. So it's kind of easy to just squeeze. It doesn't get stuck or nothing. Look at that. Drop. Drip. Drip. So it kind of does make a good dripper. There we go. I think I got enough juice in there uh, to go ahead and test this out. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. Uh, basically, the way you put this together, try not to get juice on the glass right now. You're going to want to put this all the way down on the rubber. There we go. So this is the part that's going to stay right there. That glass is not coming off until you're ready to either clean it or whatnot. But as you drip, you'll be dripping. You'll be taking this top piece off just to drip. Um, you also have your air. This goes on here. And when you when you vape, your air is going to come around and hit the coil very nice. So this will just go right on there nice and easy. There we go. Let me actually pop this off because this um, is kind of dry. And you do not want to pop that on and off while it's dry the way it is. Because what happens is it, it really gets hard to... Uh, take on and off and what happens is it starts popping the whole thing off if it's not right so put a little juice on it so it comes off nice and easy, easy like that so we're going to put this up to 50 watts and we're going to go ahead and vape on it so hopefully it'll be a decent vape oh yeah it's going to be good very nice Very nice vape. Mm. And simple as that, guys. Um, a small little build like that, you get really, really good um, vapor. Very dense. That e-juice is really good. I really like that berry flavor I made. I'm going to go ahead and try this one. Um, this one is, I believe, an eggnog. Not eggnog. It's, um, uh, excuse me, pumpkin spice. I think the only problem I'm having with this is, is I said this before. I got big lips, and when I put my mouth on this, I literally have to put my lips on the edge, very edge on there, because I just my lips get stuck in the in the airflow there. So that was kind of a con for me as far as where they put the air that goes in is right where the drip tip is. I think they should have did it more like on the side. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice came out good. It's not real strong like I thought it was gonna be. It's actually pretty freaking decent. Let's try this one. This one's, uh, I'll find out in a second.
Oh, that one's uh. This one's something I don't like. I'm putting that back. It's a nasty pumpkin spice. Oh, that's the one I messed up. Didn't mean to vape that. Oh, man. I messed up my juice. Ugh. Alright, so... I'm gonna try to vape this. This is an apple. It's an apple berry that I made. I like some apples and some berries, and I figured I'll mix it. And see if I could get a nice apple berry flavor. I haven't tasted. Well, I can smell it. I haven't tasted this yet, so let's see how it is. Um, definitely could taste the apples in it. Draining. I'm draining my mouth from the ages. Uh, yeah, this is a nice RDA. Um, I wish you guys could see how it looks up close because then you can see how the the airflow works with the coils and how it kind of just really, really uh, grabs that. Yeah, I'm going to actually push these down a little bit because I want it closer to uh, the, the coil the airflow oops I hope I didn't bend that too much bend it down a little bit more I can't see good so that should be good and they should be like the airflow should be right in front of that coil yep and way better flavor that's that's what I wanted I wanted the air to actually hit the coil the proper way so I could get the flavor. Yeah. There you go. Better flavor. That's what I wanted. So these juices are coming out pretty good. Um, my favorites, though, that I made so far, the favorite juices I got that I made are my... my uh, it's starting to get dark. Um, this is a tobacco, uh, pipe tobacco with graham cracker crust. That's one of my favorites. Uh, another one of my favorites is, uh, do I have it with me? It's somewhere around here. I left some e-juices at the e-store, which is good. I'm going to have to go back and get them, but, um, uh, it's called reindeer poop is one of the other ones that, um, really liking the flavor of and I believe I'm gonna have to go back to the freaking vape shop and go get them because I left them there my e-juices but that's fine I got these I can vape on for now there we go I left I left my reindeer poop over there and that's like one of my favorite Unless some of the guys never tried reindeer poop. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. All right, so that was it, man. I just want to show you guys how to do a build on a, on a fish bone. Basically, you just do a little simple build because of the way they make this tank, this RDA but you get great vapor. This is a great design. Um, and like I said, I'm running at a, a 0.34 and it's excellent vapor. Uh, I hope you guys liked the build and I hope you guys liked my uh, review on the coil build. So thank you guys. Please subscribe and like my video. And I will be back to do some uh, reviews on new mods coming out. Um, I'm going to be having some coming up pretty soon. 
So stay tuned, guys. And God bless and vape on.